I started off, I had a double disectomy that got infected. Um, it's eaten its way through two of my vertebrae and now I'm having it fixed so they held in position and to reduce the pain. I've lost my job and basically my life's been on hold for two and a half years pretty much. I haven't been able to do anything. Um, I haven't been able to do any of my hobbies. The condition he has is actually very common. It's a degenerative condition. Um, and he unfortunately has had previous surgery which led to uh, an infection that he had and the infection was treated but he's been left with very advanced degenerative changes and debilitating pain. It's predominantly back pain but also uh, some leg pain. The optimal outcome will allow him to not only return to most normal functional activities but also to return to work which he has been struggling to do. So at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital we very commonly do two staged operations and in a lot of the cases we stage them with a few days in between the cases meaning the patient will stay in hospital for approximately 10 days and there'll be about five to seven days between the stages. So with the robotic surgery the potential huge benefit is that we'll be doing the operation from the front of the spine and the back of the spine simultaneously thereby decreasing the operative time as well as decreasing the patient's stay in hospital. Within the United Kingdom, this is a new procedure because it requires robotic technology, which is only now becoming available readily in the National Health Service. At the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, we've been very fortunate. We've got the robot to guide us with surgery, and we've been using that for some time now. But doing single-stage surgery is a new technique within the National Health Service, and we have all the facilities to do this operation safely for the patients. And if we can improve the efficiency by decreasing the operative time and allowing the patients to go home safely earlier we could potentially substantially decrease our waiting time for this type of surgery. I was expecting there to be about 14 days and came out after four. I went in, I had the operation, I spent the two days sort of coming around and came home and it was great. I've come home and I'm, I'm fixed. I haven't healed but I'm fixed. Now I'm just starting to think oh, hang on a minute I can think about doing that. And not this week but two weeks time. I'll just say thank you very much. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I can't put into words what you've done or what this means to me. You've given me a life back and my life was on hold. Well, it was over. I couldn't do anything. And now it's, um, it's, it's the best thing ever. It is an, an amazing sense of relief. I can't compare it to anything because it's, it's quite, it's not thing to compare, but just knowing now it's done. I'm not money driven, but just uh, have a bit of cash in the bank, go out and have a bit of purpose in life. That's probably the best way of putting it.